what are the pros and cons of using an LLC, at least from my perspective? Well, here are some of the pros and cons. The pros is this. People don't know it's your property. You can you can go there and you can just say, hey, look, I'm just a maintenance guy. I'm just a property manager. That way people don't like think you are the bad guy that they hate so much because you are a landlord and just blowing it and having fun all day long. So some of the pros is that you get to kind of have like a little division between you and your property, um, a little space, a little something that gives you kind of like a little peace of mind. And running like a business it can make a lot of sense. That That's a very big pro for me. Another supposed big pro, now this can be up to you if it's a pro or a con. Again, the space can also mean that you don't even need to show up to court. In fact, you, you don't. You, you would hire a lawyer and that lawyer would go to court for you and that's acceptable and more very common. In fact, it's necessary. Another plus is in theory, the LLC is supposed to protect you and your assets. I find that when people are suing you, like let's say, like let's say someone's suing you for like 10 grand or something, well, they're going to go after the LLC. But if they know you are the property managers, a lot of time people will just throw your name on it anyway. But let's say they go after your LLC, the property, because they know you as just the maintenance guy, you know, so they don't think of going with you. That's why it's good to kind of like have other people cut grass, stuff like that, depending on the size you are. So now let's say people are going to go after you. Now, what I notice is that most people who's suing you for like five, six, three thousand, six hundred, seven thousand. They're not going to try to get judges to pierce, to do research, to try to figure out uh, who owns the LLC and all that. Most of the time, they're not looking for that kind of money. But I think when it comes to the bigger stuff, like if you're getting sued for something, something huge, unless your paperwork's not very, very tight, they can get to it. In theory, though, a positive is that if you're going to get sued by little things and you did things right, you have a protection. That, I think, is a very big thing. So it can protect you and your other assets. So, for example, if I have an LLC that owns property A and I have an LLC that owns property B, well, even if they sue me for property A, even if they attach my name to it, they're not going to know that there's another LLC out there that owns property C. So that's where a LLC is like phenomenal. Now, in real estate, it feels like it's a game of chance. It's not like, not not as much as gambling, but it is a game of chance in some ways because you you are taking a lot of risk because there's tons of liability. But that can be a protection. Now, here are the cons, I think, of an LLC. Well, number one, you got to hire a lawyer for everything because you are not the entity. In other words, you cannot just go to court and represent your LLC unless you're a lawyer. So if you are in an area where you have a lot of evictions, if you're not screening your tenants and you got a lot of in and out, this can really drain you extremely because you would just end up having a lot of court cases where you got to use a lawyer. That's the biggest one. Me, what I try to do is I try to work things out with tenants. That's when you hear a lot of landlords tell you they'll pay, they'll give cash for keys. They come up with all kinds of ways to just not get into all that legal drama because it can get pretty expensive, especially when you have an LLC. And I tell you right now, this is the one thing a lot of people never tell you. If you own a duplex and you have an NOI for about, let's say, 200 bucks a month and in a year, that's what, 2,400, right? But here's the thing. If you're only making that and you have to kick someone out like four times in a year, it's not that great. That's got to be uh, one of the really bad thing about it. Another negative of having an LLC is tax preparation. Tax preparation can cost a little bit more. The accountant has to do a little bit more work. Then there's a lot of paperwork. Like you have to track everything. And, and technically, you should really be doing a lot of meetings. If you're doing it the right way, you really have to have a separation between you and that LLC. You can't just take money from one account that has that's the LLC for switch it to you or you're switching back and forth. It's almost like everything has to be documented. And every time, if it's a loan, it has to be explained how did this loan come back. There's a lot of work in the paperwork. There's tons of paperwork if you're doing it right. If you don't do it right, 
and let's say you're getting sued by someone who has a lot of money or who has a good lawyer or someone who just some lawyers calling them and kind of like looking for landlords to sue then you can find yourself in some big issue there because as long as they can find that you've been commingling your funds then they would be able to say okay you know what look this guy's not out of it. he's not doing things right and then they do what it's called pierce the shield and which basically means that you're getting sued buddy I think so. One negative is that you might feel safe and you're really not. That's one. Another thing about having an LLC, sometimes when you call companies up, they charge you more for stuff because you have an LLC. Uh, in other words, for example, um, if you have a, a four unit and you call to have your lights turned on, I've had the uh, electric company, which is odd because sometimes they did this and sometimes they didn't, but I've had times where the electric company immediately noticed it was an LLC. And so they quickly said, it's got to be a commercial account. And I go, what? Yeah, it got to be a commercial account. So then they're charging you more for the same usage. They're charging you more. Like in my four units, I tend to have less people live in there than in like a duplex. Because in a duplex, you have a family, like let's say a three bedroom duplex. You got a family, let's say a family of five upstairs and a family of five, that's 10 people. In a four family, one bedroom, I would have like four people and that's it and all my utilities and everything is less we get in charge extra because we're an llc a commercial account so that's another drawback one positive thing i want to throw in is with the llc is that when you buy things under your llc it doesn't affect your credit sometimes you have to co-sign for stuff for example like you can buy a car um under your llc and it will not affect your personal credit anyway so like subscribe share thank you very much